Welcome everybody to the Super Mario Bros. Remix Any Percent Race. To our left, we've got Mitch Flower Power. You may have heard of him. <laughs> we world record Wee! holder for this category. Jab him. Jab him? I love jab him so much. He's so peaceful. And to our left, we have Gadian, who is in the top three currently. <laughs> Right, I have my friend Rage Quits. Blue. I'm the Haxer. And I'm Glitch Cat. And I'm the Glitch Cat. Uh, this is going to be a game that a lot of Mario fans are really going to enjoy. It pulls from a lot of different Mario games. Um, so I don't know what the view count went up to for the three mix race. Obviously, it's a Mario three game, so you're going to see a lot of Mario three stuff. But um, I didn't want to have the audio too high because. Everything. Then I'm talking over it any time I talked. We should begin starting here. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so there's one thing that you guys need to do, and I don't know if you guys did it during the race, but what you have to do is... I know, I want to be louder. I'm louder so that I'm not talking over you guys. There is actually no difference between the three, um, although Toad does run off the screen a little faster, so... Mitch gets a little head start, I guess. So you wanna, they're gonna try to keep his speed here and uh, try to go for a. So, <laughs> if you get a chance, watch everyone's, watch our eyes. Like we spend more time watching the other player than we do everything else. The lag here is so bad. Most Mario games, that's because there's a lot of extra sprites on the screen. So one of the important strategies we'll see throughout the run is going to be... The lag here was so bad. It's all part of the charm, though. Yeah, exactly. The lag ain't going nowhere. I didn't realize I was top left. And they're all even. And uh, you'll get a good glimpse as... And this is where my death is as well. Um, they're going to try to take an upper route and uh, try to eliminate a lot of that lag. If you were to go on the bottom level, yeah, so the death here the death here causes me to actually fight an additional hammer brother, which costs me even more time. So it wasn't just the death. Who is that? He's uh probably your best friend, right? His name's uh Barry, he's the little cheap cheap you're gonna see throughout the game. And uh he just kinda does random things at times, so you, he'll just pop out of nowhere, he'll take some damage, maybe even die, so be on the lookout to see if that happens to any of our runners. Yeah. And it just happened. Yeah. It just happened. <laughs> it happens. It Getting happens a lot. There's a lot of places for him to catch up, though. This is a, a very long run, so. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of clips. <laughs> a lot of tempted clips. A lot, a lot of stuff that's <laughs> really going to, or could potentially change the outcome of the race. Yeah, so here we have Gadian taking the lead. So, I mean, yeah, so I liked being ones. behind at the start because, uh, a lot of the, you know, my mistakes are also, my mistakes are not only unnoticed, oh, but it puts a lot of pressure on the person in first place. If I can squint really, really hard, I can see you in the crowd. That's some thick squints. She's always in another castle. <laughs> nice. They do audio for who's in first. That's pretty cool. So so they're dying on the cheap cheeps right now, right? And the cheap cheap moves left, as you can see, out of your way. If you watch top right, moves left, then they do the ghost house. I can't do that because the cheap cheap's already on the left at this point. If I die, he'll move to the right. I would have had to die twice. And he's there because I already died once. So I say, you know what, I'll just fight him. I have an extra fire flower in case anything goes wrong. So that's what causes me to take lose so much time at the start. This is the unique or the, the different level, I guess, in World One. It's actually the Which really, really sucks, but honestly there's not much I can do about it. Oh that's right. It's actually pretty easy. But we don't tell them that. We don't tell them that. Unfortunately, that does happen sometimes if you're a little slow getting there. Um, Jabin got RNG fired ball. But he died and, like, 
I'm still so far behind. Coming out from Gadian there. Yeah. You'll see more. Those gold mushrooms that they're picking up are checkpoints. In case they didn't know. But they don't need those, obviously. Yeah. Well, luckily I'm in the same level as them, so I'm pretty happy about that. Absolutely. So yeah, we get our second look at Bowser here, and uh, if you know you aren't able to defeat him fast enough, he actually becomes Super Bowser and. Uh, Sometimes defies the laws of gravity. He just kind of hangs in the air after the bridge disappears, and he'll jump at you and and you know kill you. So it's a great little mechanic there. So nice. Skip that berry fight, which is uh, huge. Uh, but uh, one seven he's in now is a. Uh, his orange is so bright on his screen too. Yeah. And this is this is where Jabum kind of slipped up a little bit in uh, when nerves. Nerves took over because he messed up a jump in this next level where Jabum has never made made a mistake like that before. So. So if you watch top right right now, he does this weird turn back coming up. Right here, and it caused them to die, and allowed me to catch up there. He turned back because he thought he wasn't gonna make it, but. He was going to. It was, it was really weird. It was, um, it's one of those things that I tell everyone that, like, you don't understand once you start, once you perform at a GDQ, you start to understand really what's, like, I don't know, your brain really likes to mess with you. Yeah, so this is the, obviously it's a remake of 8-4, so this would be the equivalent to the He grabs the checkpoint, and then he grabs the fire flower, which makes it better. I think he grabs a fire flower here. Yes, he does. Which is very smart on his part. He's got to do that. And I'm catching up to Getty, and I really wanted to get this clip here, man. If I got this clip, it really, really would have tightened the gap a lot earlier in the run. But sadly, I am horrible at clipping in this game, apparently. I had to wait. I missed the clip. Tried it again. Missed it. And then I think I entered the pipe by accident. Yeah. Oh, that was not intentional. In order for that clip to work, you have to be big, and then you're jumping. While you're That's right. It's the nerves, man. Once um, I couldn't explain it to Jabum and Gideon before we did the run. I was like, you, when you do things like these, your brain just does these weird thoughts, and you just really mess up. And Jabum got the clip first try because he's a monster. Gideon's going into two one, which world two. Tell us about world two. So you're probably going to recognize this level as actually 1-1 one, one of Super Mario Bros. 2. Um, and we're going to see a lot of levels in this world from Super Mario Bros. 2. Or at least they pull um, design uh, inspiration from Mario Bros. Me and Jabim are really close here. The best Mario Bros. <laughs> you, you might have a horse in that race. <laughs> Yeah, he does a nice job of that climb there. Um, makes it through the level, keeps his upgrade. Um, it's actually more important than you think, but there are a lot of spots. If they do take damage for them to re-grab these upgrades, but obviously it takes time every time they lose it. Mitch doing something a little bit different. You can't swim in the water in SMB2 proper, but you can in this. So Mitch kind of getting through that waterfall by swimming. That's good. Yeah, and it's worth noting, you'll probably notice they're jumping on the vines in this game, and that's something you can't actually do in Super Mario Bros. 3, so it's something unique to this game, um, and it's a nice little uh, improvement, I would say. Nice, yeah, nice, nice, nice. They've also added some custom stuff for this game that behaves like <laughs> Jab them. gives the player a few more options for movement. Gadian skipping that checkpoint. Scary. Yeah, like I said, this level is the worst. Keeping his P-Speed going up that vine as well. He maintained P-Speed and had it when he got to the top. That was really good. Oh, no. Oh, Ooh, yeah, Jabum's next big mistake. That's right. So we should recognize where Gadian's at right now. That's right. I forgot about yeah, that. This is actually 1-3 uh, from... Brothers 2 as well. And we're gonna actually at the end of this stage see. I'm gaining a lot of time on on Gadian. Even right now, I'm gaining a lot of time. For Mario 2, I should say. This 2 4 from Mitch, what do you mean? That was a really good. I did a, I've, I've been playing really well. I got the, the early P speed. Just that death in Hammer Brother, man. 
And then the clip. And here we go. This is our first look at Birdo. We're constantly looking at, at the other player. Do you think if they, if they really oh, yeah, the clip, the clip. 2-3 I did really well. 2-3 <laughs> I did really well. Makes quick work of Birdo there. Gets really fortunate eggs there, actually. What did Gideon get? Like third try or some crap? This is could change the pace of the race. Right yeah, there. this is one of the most important uh, little tricks of the run. So. In my mind, I was like, I'm going to catch up to him right now because I'm entering the level. I was like, nice. Yeah. Here comes my chance back again. And I just... Oh, and he's he's got got it. It. All right. Yes, but he has to stick it. And he does. Nice. Good. Nice, with the four-frame jump. Yeah. Yeah, if you, if you miss it, you're falling down. I keep grabbing the vine. Like, can I just not be shitty, please? Even though you can't see the divisions between the blocks and this wall, it works the same way as a clip where you're placing your feet in between the pixels. Right? And now jab him. Jab him's like, oh my god, I can catch up to him. I think jab him got it before me as well. I had to get cheered on. Yeah, this clip is sometimes very punching. <laughs> Jablum went up the vine. Oh, nice yeah, 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 there it is. Stick it. Then he does. We're fans of Jablum. All right. Very good. That's why they call him the Michael Buble of gaming. <laughs> yeah, the overworld... Uh, it's ridiculous. We're actually shy guys, so we see Gadian purposely fighting that shy guy to grab a star. Since I did mention he's oh. one in World One. Unfortunately, Jabman has to fight an extra shy guy battle. You know, the shy guys are just walking around, hanging out with everybody. They're pretty extra. Dude, Gadian, man, Gadian's like, <laughs> dude, he's like two minutes ahead right now. Look at him, doing whatever he wants right now. So yeah, on Jabman's screen, you can actually see this is one of the scarier jumps in the game because you have to jump off screen and then land and then do a jump. So. Um, all three runners doing a great job there, and, and nobody taking a death. Yeah. I think we can hear a donation. You got it. I have two hundred and fifty dollars from someone you may know, uh, Captain Salzburg. I'm honored to support your charity. <laughs> I asked Jabum, I had no idea. Yeah, we're all on the same stage here. Please tell me it's Culex Bowser. So, Gadian's going to take some intentional damage here to skip an entire cycle. He's going to go ahead and hurt himself with the with Mouser, and it will count as two hits on Mouser, ending the fight. Yeah, that fight's so strange the way that happens. And we see on Javelin's screen, he's actually finishing the climb part of this level, which is very difficult. Um, and it looks like all three runners actually did it quite well. So. <laughs> I hate climbing some of these vines in this game, man. Such BS. The nice thing about these airships is they don't always have the auto scroll on, which made the airships in SMB3 very, very slow. But without the auto scroll, uh, Gadian can just run right through here. Yeah, this is actually the first completely um, custom level in this game um, that did not appear any previous Mario game. But we'll see a familiar face at the end here. Is that is that the great wart? Ho ho ho. That is the great wart. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wart. It's a little easier um, than what you see in Super Mario Brothers 2. Much easier. He has a different attack too. Those bubbles coming up from the floor are 
not the way he attacks in vanilla SMW. Yeah, he's just up. attacked it right here. He's up for SMW. Come on, glitch cat. <laughs> Unfortunately, the upgrades are not good enough. You can boomerang kill him, but there's no way to get a boomerang. Yo, Russix. Wee! Welcome back, dude. 16 months. Of the game. That's scary. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, actually a remake of Pumpkin Zone 1 and Super Mario Land 2, the, the handheld game. Um, and we'll see a lot of inspiration in this world from actually that. Oh, yeah, I got the, I got the zip into the water section. I forgot about that. Here we have Jabba and Mitch uh, wrapping up their fight with Wart as well. Jabba, you all, he, Jabba almost missed his Shy Guy. Absolutely. There's a, you know, as they implied in their interview prior to this, there's some tricks that you do in World 6 that can really decide things. So. Jabba and I are neck and neck. Showing off. Oh, yeah. Showing off. Getting, that, getting the swag. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, thank you, man. I really appreciate he that. Moving on to World 3 2. <laughs> this is Wee. actually my least favorite. Wee. Wee. Just, 19 God. months, yeah, man. Yeah, like, Yo, so hello. It's, it's really hard sometimes to get inputs to go through um, when there's so much lag. And so sometimes you might miss that jump over the gap and fall in. <laughs> Dude, I want to zoom in on everyone's eyes. Uh, by doing it this way, what Gadian's doing, he's skipping an auto scroller, right? Yep. Uh, extremely punishing auto scroller. So when he makes the cross. Yeah, you don't want to play that auto scroller. Yeah. And that's really the only part of the run. Yo, jab him. What's going on, dude? Rabbit ears. Thank you for that host, dude. He's like, what have they done to my game? <laughs> oh, you got a PB tonight in three mix? What'd you get? Gonna see another new upgrade here. Yo, Novora, 2018, what's going on? It's actually from New Super Mario Brothers. Jabum's mom, what's up? Um, and it, it basically in the <laughs> five, hey, five seconds is five seconds, man. Swim, except you run normal as well as you shoot ice balls that can freeze enemies, so it's really useful uh, in a lot of stages. That water there just defying the laws of physics. Yeah. <laughs> just floating in the air. It makes dreadful water. <laughs> the floating water, I love it. it. Just kind of. And they're going to want to hang on to that for this, uh, for the rest of this world as well. Yep. Yeah, the frozen enemies, uh, you're going to see that the ice balls can freeze. Hello, Metroid Killer. Hello. The frozen enemies being used a little bit more later on for cool effects. So you might... We'll see what they do. <laughs> what, are, what are they going to do? Gadian is, uh, <laughs> he's just taking the pipe route, uh, and he's going to go ahead and use the blocks here, uh, to push himself through the wall. And, and you, you steer those with your with your with your pad. And yeah, uh, that's the thing from Super Mario World, the guided. You uh, steer those with your pad. Right on through. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Hey Rage, who discovered that clip? Jab him! Welcome back. Twenty three months. <laughs> he was watching me. He's like, Yo, J Price. That's actually called the Rage. <laughs> rage Quitch. <laughs> The other route was horrible. And so, yeah, you actually see on Jabim's screen the unique... Over My double door dash. Thank you, thank you. I worked really hard on it. Jabim is pretty much doing the same thing that I am, so neither of us are staying ahead of each other or behind each other. It's been pretty consistent. He might gain a little bit of time here with keeping P-Speed, yes. Yeah, so he gained a little bit of time there. And there you see he's using the frozen dry bones that are coming out of the pipe by freezing them and kicking them back. That's how he manages to fight this boo. There's a little bit of RNG involved here. Dep you know, depends on you know how fast those dry bones come on the screen. Like, see, we, we see him getting a really slow pattern there, so he's got to kind of walk and lead it. How did he do that? <laughs> nice fight. Bunch of frigs. Ooh, jab him bumping. Come on, jab him. No bumps. This is actually based on a ghost house from Super Mario World, if I'm not mistaken. I, I don't believe it is. I think this is actually the first.
first unique ghost house um, in this world or in the game. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> argue about it. I want. <laughs> no, I think he's right. I. Yeah. I <laughs> you just gonna take that glitch cat? <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> oh, God. This boo, man. The boo battle I hate so much in this game. Jabum could have... Oh, well, the, man. The and the enemies come from I shook my head watching Jabum. There. Luckily, I got a fast Getting one. A really nice uh, dry bones there for that last hit. And Jabum also falls in. And they both out of boost stage. I wonder, if, I wonder if Gideon was like, oh, man, I'm going to win this race. A level that they recognize in the sunken ghost ship, but there's... One specific thing missing, but I, I can't remember what that is. Is it um is it mysterious? It, it could be. Does it have a question mark on it? But it's not a box. It's a round shape. Yeah. 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 So it's some kind of sphere or perhaps. An... What what is it? What is it, guys? What is, it? is it is it the orb? Oh, well, we'll see. We'll find out, I guess. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> And so, yeah, uh, this is why it's important for them to maintain that penguin suit because he's able to instant kill that boss with, by freezing that bullet bill. Otherwise, you have to That's right. You want to keep the ice suit, man. I'm, I'm glad that none of us lost it. The penguin suit also gives you the frog suits. If you had to swim through this level, a lot easier. I wonder if Jabum did. Jabum didn't, I don't think, though. I don't think he got hit. So Gadian's going to be moving on to World 4, which is based after Super Mario World. That is correct. And we'll get to see a familiar face. Yeah. In World 4. Who is that? Who's that guy? Yoshi. Oh, man. There he wow. is. Yoshi in an NES game. How about that? Yeah. That's crazy. Oh. Bye, Yoshi. <laughs> 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 See you later, Yoshi. Oh, yes. True to the game. <laughs> and so, yeah, they'll actually be using him throughout this world uh, for a few different strategies. Uh, Yo, thank you so much, Ronin boy. I really appreciate that. doesn't have a pipe transition when um, you go through a pipe, so you instantly go through the pipe and save quite a bout of time, or quite a, a lot of time doing that. About four seconds per pipe. Yeah. Uh, how, they're, how they're able to fit Yoshi into this game, though, of a South Bird, was uh, he purposely designed each stage to have Yoshi in it. So the, the reason why they uh, Nintendo couldn't put Yoshi into the NES in Mario 3 is because they couldn't put him into each stage. Yeah, it, the stages yeah. are too complex. Yeah. So, like, these stages are much simpler, and you'll be able to see that in any stage he appears. Something else cool about Yoshi in this game uh, that's not available in Mario World, if he has a shell in his mouth and spits it out, he can get one of those mid-air shell jumps, and that helps yep. him get through these sections a little bit faster. Absolutely. We'll be seeing that soon, too. Yeah, we get to see Mitch pull off one of these shell jumps right here. The free shell jump. I think Jab doesn't Jabum lose his penguin in the urchin level, right? And that just costs so much time. Yep. Yeah, except you've now got a penguin suit, which allows you to go through it much quicker because you can freeze these urchins and then um, destroy them. Unfortunately, you have to get really close to them, so you're going to see the runners be really cautious as they're going through the stage to make sure they don't lose the penguin suit. Yeah, their hitboxes are extremely deceiving. Yep. I like how Yoshi just gets tossed off at the end of Jabin's level. Like, you're done here. Good job. Get out. <laughs> Bye, Yoshi. Ooh, Jabin getting a lot of dino movements. That's unfortunate. Luckily, it's just two crucial urchin urchin hits. You don't have to worry too much about them. Very scary. So yeah, we actually see on. Oh, good night, Jabs, mom. Sleep well. Going through sections of Ludwig's castle, um, and he's actually intentionally taking damage here. So um, don't be alarmed. There is a strategy coming up that requires him to be small Mario. Yes. It's really impressive that the maker of this game could get the walls to scroll up and down like that. In Mario World, that's an easy thing to do, but on NES, that's a really cool technical challenge to get those pipes and everything to move like that. And there you see your first uh, fence climbing mechanic from Super Mario World. Uh, the only difference in the remix versus Mario World is that you can't do a Koopa punch through the fence. No that's Koopa boxing. That's the best part, <laughs> right? It is. <laughs> These guys should be familiar. Uh, yeah. The Reznor. They look like they've been on a diet, though. They're kind of <laughs> way, yeah, way, way skinnier this time around. They're, they're trying to look good for AGDQ. Oof. Man. 
I know I normally do like that that turtle jump with the fence, but I think I messed it up really badly here. Yeah, I messed it up right there. And then I got the peppermint toad because he looks like a peppermint. His head. An evil bullet bill there. Yeah, he's gonna have Yoshi push him through the pipe. Uh, that you can only do that as small Mario. And you see Mitch taking care of business. Well, taking care of the business. <laughs> so slow. <laughs> Gideon did a big boy in the airship. Yeah, yeah, Gideon did not have a good time in the airship there. This is actually, this part is from Iggy's castle, um, and SM, SMW as well. They even put Koopas back there, but you can't punch. Nope. Yeah. They're just teasing <laughs> you, like, ha, you'd love to punch this if you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> nice first one from Jarvan. Mitch also gets the clip. It's actually um, a fairly easy yeah. trick for them to do. Um, it's, it's not subpixel pixel related or anything, so... A little chilly. I think we can hear a donation. Sure thing. We have $25 from Jabram's mom. Jabram's mom, baby. Good luck, Jabram. The dome is super proud of you. Try not to do too much toy. <laughs> Can I do one more? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We have a hundred dollars from Bearcat Girl. Woo! Woo! How hard you try, Mitch and Gaddian? Flavorless Jabum is here to salt up your night. <laughs> Woo! Watch out, Mitch. He's gonna get ya. <laughs> I remember I did that to Jabum. I had SGDQ and I scared him and he messed up. I think that's what it was going for that there. actually wasn't in vanilla SMB3, um, but it, it's really nice because it allows you to swim through that section instead of having to walk really slow on the ground. And it just really overall improves swimming, being able to control Mario better in the water. And we see on Jabum's screen, actually, we didn't mention this, but the overworld enemies in this world are the dinos. And he actually purposely jumps off Yoshi there while eating him at the same time to, as you see, freeze him in the ground. And it makes the fight much faster because they spawn quite slow. Nice, Gaddian gets a really good kill there. A really good kill. <laughs> I'm catching up, Gaddian. I've been only all I've been doing is catching up ever so slowly. Good moment for another donation. It's like seconds by seconds. We have $115 Making my way. $115 the yellow lums took from me in Rayman 2 earlier. <laughs> Hope the race goes great and Jabum, you're gonna kill it. Save the frames and kill Steve the Koopa. Man, Gideon's World 4 airship just... Which one is Steve? Steve's the... We'll see him later. He's the only Koopa in the game that doesn't damage you. <laughs> Steve's a nice guy. Alright, so which, which airship is uh, Gideon on right there now? There we go. So he got it. Are fans of SMB3 will recognize this airship and maybe have a little PTSD from it, but it's um, the World 4 airship, except it doesn't auto-scroll. Um, it's infamously known as the slowest moving auto-scroller in that game, and so it's much more bearable when you don't have to wait for it. Yeah, you're going to see uh, Gideon grab that shell through Bowser Jr. and spit it back out to skip a lot of cycles. Uh, what Bowser Jr. will do if you're unable to do that shell skip is uh, cart around the spikes and yeah. yeah, it saves a really significant amount of time, a few cycles, so. And Mitch Dude. right behind him here, he's caught up. Big catch-up the there. That was a big catch-up. Oh, you did jab him? And you still save five seconds? Jesus. What was your best, what was your best world? For the first time, um, those of you that are Super Mario Land fans might recognize some of the enemies and themes in this world. This first um, level is actually 1-1. One, one. Um, from Super Mario Land, and these little Sphinx enemies actually do appear in that game as well. <laughs> I thought he was going to say these little Sphinxsters. <laughs> uh, so, you saw the Sphinx. Uh, the reason why they had to go for that scar in World 1 or two one, uh, World 2 is so that this Sphinx fight coming up next is so much easier to handle with a scar. 
so much easier to handle with the star. Removing the fireballs from the stage as well as, uh, you know, killing off the Sphinx really quickly. Nah, because the star destroys the fire. Nice. Oh my gosh! Yo, Khalees! With the five gift subs, thank you so much. Woo! Do I gain the lead here? Really don't want to land in the quicksand on this stage. Uh, there's a lot of places you just kind of get stuck and lose a bunch of time. So it's really important to make it through that section without getting stuck somewhere. Oh, and then here we see the Mario Wee 2 mechanic of digging that was put into the Mario 3 engine. The freeze shot, man. That freeze shot is so clutch. It's so much faster than the regular game. He's just raising the roof, man. <laughs> and you sometimes get the double dig. <laughs> yeah, that is just altogether Wee way faster digging than, than regular. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm right on your ass, Gideon. Did I get the clip? No. I didn't even duck. That box, it fills that area up with quicksand, yeah. and that's how he's going to be able to get out of that section. Oh, there's the oh, yump. yump. That's a first frame jump off the top of the P-Switch. Uh, that's a one frame trick. It's just purely for swag. Actually, it does save a little bit of time in this just because you can get up fast. Oh, yeah, true. Good point. I'm actually going to donate $5 per yump that every one of these racers has been getting, so I got my Go wallet out, guys. <laughs> And yeah, you'll recognize Got my wallet out, guys. Mario Land fan. It's the World 1 boss from that game, the Sphinx. Reimagine in Mario 3. That was a really quick fight. Nice job. Yeah. They're pretty much neck and neck here. Jeez. And Chapman's right behind him in the same stage, so. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of time in this run for things to turn around, though, so this is still a very, very, very close race. Yep. And Chapman gets the um. Nice. Oh! And so Mitch actually going for a wall jump there um, to save a little bit of time. Unfortunately, he doesn't get it. But remember that thing we were missing? Remember that? that? <laughs> Are you talking about I was like, sphere? where am I? What's going on? What shape was that sphere? again? I think it was a sphere. It was. Or, wait for it. Was it? Orb! <laughs> Whoa! Orb again! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves the orb. So this level takes inspiration from the sand stage in Super Mario Brothers 3. And I feel like he's take it easy, bow tie. This stage a little more evil. Let's turn it into an auto scroller and then add a water section at the end of it. That's why the sun's angry. <laughs> he just doesn't like to be in his own level. <laughs> I think this yeah, I'm very glad that I was able to have this stream and kind of um Yo, restored. Woo! My grandmother and mother are cancer survivors, so I'm excited to donate and make sure we can do what we can to help cancer research and prevention. Orb. <laughs> it's good to see good people doing good things while playing good games. Shout outs from the Java Dome. Here's to all the blessed RNG you'll need. <laughs> Woo! I like that we're all in the same auto scroller, too. I think that's really cool. I think that's good for everyone. Same auto scroller, same life, same love. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I was able to have this stream today with, um, all the playbacks and stuff like that. And then we can get down to business tomorrow. Well, see, Mario gets to go on, but he has to stay there. His level. Yeah. True. So this is, uh, another unique stage. Most of World 5 is actually unique, um, and doesn't appear in any, any game. Just, uh, his original design. We get to see a lot of cool stages throughout this run. Doom, 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 diddle-dum, diddle-dum. Getty and I are very close. Getting another shot at the Sphinx. Although this fight's a little more difficult, you see that on Gideon's screen and Mitch's, they had the jump before the start of the fight. That's because when the Sphinx lands, he actually stuns you if you're standing on the ground. Yeah, you guys will see that from Jabum's screen as well. They are neck and neck. And unfortunately, Gadian gets an extra Sphinx fight, so um, he doesn't. He was, that, was that RNG? Or yeah, that's RNG. Yeah. Bad, bad map movement. For the... Yeah, he couldn't equip an extra star either because he just moved right into him. So good old Mario 3. What would it be without RNG? <laughs> yeah, RNG changing the race right now, putting Mitch 
out in front. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you're going to see another familiar enemy, actually, at the end of this stage. Um, although he's lost two of his friends, and now he's just a single Clyde. <laughs> he, he gave up. He doesn't try anymore. <laughs> oh. Gave Mitch a little trouble there, but he's able to make it out. And so he's actually, and that's actually fine that he's small. He's going to equip an upgrade for the next stage. The slow comeback had you glued, yeah. It was pretty crazy. Uh, Mitch is going to get to use the penguin suit again. Yes. And we'll see why. <laughs> Gideon could have done a wall jump there. Helps them swim through the oil actually in this stage because you know penguins love swimming through oil. Is this Texas? This is what I figure Texas looks like. Oh, Mitch loses the penguin suit. Now you're gonna see what that oil does. <laughs> Get those people with the ducks and the dish soap to <laughs> clean them off. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get to see a, a clear difference how the penguin suit acts in the, uh, reacts in the oil versus not having that penguin suit. Yeah, it's really important to keep it. You just move so slow without it. Yeah. Though Mitch don't care. He's he's out <laughs> of the stage. I'm out of there, man. I'm done with the oil. So somehow, somehow, nice Captain Southbird made like heavy water in this game. It was crazy. And this world's actually based on Super Mario Sunshine. And we'll get to see, um, I believe they're called the Pintas. Pintas? Pintas, yeah. Pitas? Mm. Pitas. Mm. <laughs> they're delicious. All right. <laughs> Jabum's death. Where did Jabum die? Uh, his bonus room, fun fact, is actually, I think it's an homage to the Mario Bros. arcade game with the crabs coming out of the pipes and you have to hit the blocks from below. Did Jabum die on the airship? So are we going to do lockout bingo for Sunshine or? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that death. And so, yeah, unfortunately, none of the stages... Yeah, so doing this, like, like I said earlier, the, the Lego level really uh, is good for me. You're trying to redesign a 3D world into a 2D game. I managed to nail it. It looks like every parent's worst nightmare. What stage is this from? This is actually um, Mario Zone 4 in Super Mario Land 2. This first section is a remake of that. Super Lego Land 2? Yeah. 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 do one donation absolutely uh, and i think we have one from someone you might know we have 250 yeah right there i i Gideon lost his p speed but he did it he got it right back right there in the bottom left hand corner he did really well and then hey guys hope you all have a close race he was still able to bring it home too Who love? <laughs> thank you Pooh. congrats Thanks, by the way Pooh. congrats Pooh. on your baby Yeah, so on Mitch's screen, we actually just saw um, our first look at the grape soda. It just like <laughs> the grape the soda. In the fortresses, you don't want to land in it, otherwise you'll instantly die. So, just another obstacle. Kel would hate this level. He likes Ooh. orange stuff. Ooh, Gideon. <laughs> Calm down, man. And hey, isn't that, isn't that that guy from Smash Brothers? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. It, it turns out he was just a bunch of stars in a trench coat all along. <laughs> Turned into stars when he died. <laughs> that was PD from Mario Sunshine. PD Piranha. PD Piranha. Gah, job him getting Legoed, man. And so yeah, for the third hit, he actually floats above the screen, and you have to kind nice. of run away from him. Nice. Jab him coming in clutch there, man. I'm always, I'm always watching the jab him stream. Getting P speed there for me was really, really good. It's hard to get that quick P speed at the beginning, so we're, I'm glad I got it. So that was a very nice stage from Mitch. He actually um, purposely does not have a penguin suit in that stage in order to go through those waterfalls a little quicker. Would the penguin suit slow you down the waterfall? Yep. Yeah. Because yeah, without it, you maintain P speed yep. through this. Okay, there. And we see Gideon doing the same thing there. And then Mitch re equips it. Nice. Uh, crab fight much smoother and we get to see Mitch's favorite level 
in the entire game. It is a remake of Vanilla. Hold on, I gotta go to the, I gotta go to the bathroom. Perfect level to do it. Although there are quite a few, uh, there are quite a few less um, enemies in the stage. Hopefully. The classic Watto scroller. <laughs> I think this is probably a, a good time for some donations as well. Yeah, absolutely. We have two hundred and fifty dollars from Schmuck. This money was burning a hole in my pocket, and I'll always take Mitch Flower Power over a Hot Pocket. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was good. $10 from Kangaroos Are Cool. Don't do toy. <laughs> oh, Kanga. <laughs> we have $100 from Laser Dante 218 Yoshi Sacrifice on the Nest. Take my money. <laughs> we have five hundred and seventy-two dollars from five seventy-two. All right. I'm gonna try to do this a little justice here. Did you hear about Big Fork? Thick and big fuck and pork. <laughs> the big pork song. It made an appearance. Oh, I haven't heard. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> Glitch cat. And so they're coming up on uh, two of the most important strats in the entire game. Um, the most important parts here, here, man. This jump. House, but you have a single frame to jump. Where you, and, and he gets, gets it. Gets nice oh, beautiful. no. So, uh, yeah. That's a single frame and allows you to skip the entire level, um, or skip to the end of the entire level. So he gets a pretty significant time save there. Very big time save there. Very big. And then the next level here, actually, we're going to see on Mitch's screen is also, it's probably the most important strat in the entire game to hit. Because yeah. you skip an entire auto-scroller section if you're able to fly over it. So we're going to see him maintain this tail and actually um, do his best to fly over this section. He only gets one attempt at this now because he did get the skip in the ghost house, so. This is crucial. Yep. And he should be good. And he gets it. Nice job. Yeah, otherwise you're riding on that very slow platform as yeah. the slow- Very slow platform, very slow. We see on Gadian's screen, there's actually a leaf in the previous stage that Mitch missed out on. So um, he gets an extra attempt at it if he does fail the first attempt. Gavin does not get the skip either. This upside down mechanic is really messing with my head. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is actually the first stage in the game that uses that. And we'll actually see it um, quite a bit later on in World 7 as well as again in World 8. Gideon gets it first try as well. It's, dude, it's such. Giving Mitch a little trouble there, but he's able to get out of there. So we got a little preview of the gravity. Yep, just a little preview. Just a little, little taste. It's Gideon also getting the auto scroll skip. Nice work. <laughs> Jab him! Why didn't you just get it, man? Oh, man, we got to submit SMB3 again. SMB3 mix again. Oh, you had it, Jab. That was fine that first time. Yeah, I'm not feeling too sure about it. So he goes back. Um, one of the interesting things about the airship that Mitch is on, there's actually a section where you go straight back in the pipe you just came out of. So there's some sections of this game that are meant to trick you. Um, you were, you had it, Jab. Him two times. And he's gonna do a trick here where he bounces on that shell and hits Bowser Jr. in the corner, and then is going to do the next two cycles really quickly because Bowser Jr. will come down and instantly damage himself, so. Oh. Got purpled. So he gets another attempt at it here. Now back of stress are vital, especially for a race. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah.
that's just a testament to how precise you have to be with this fly skip that even the world record holder you know is being extremely yo thank you jpat you have just enough space and just enough feet speed he's oh, gonna make it all right <laughs> That's right, Javim. After that level, they all feel a lot better because yeah. <laughs> that is probably the, the scariest part of the rest of the run. So, And as we see on Mitch, <laughs> we see this reverse gravity theme that we're going to see in World 7 here because it's actually based on Mario Galaxy. Yeah, here you'll see, as you notice, you'll see the gravity start swapping uh, as they go through certain parts of the stage without any kind of pipe transition or anything. This is a really, really cool mechanic to have the, the creator to put in this game. It can be really tricky to just make levels like this, thinking on both sides, and it can be really tricky to route as well. Yeah, he, it, he pretty much had to reconstruct the game from yeah. ground up. <laughs> I, I wonder if Captain Southbird half the time was like, I didn't do any of those things. Like, he's just sitting there, he's like, what are these guys talking about? And so the next stage Yo, Mortal Cobra, what's up, man? like the lost levels although it looks a little bit different it's our first look at um big world and and that goes back to world four in vanilla smb3 but this is actually a combination of one two or sorry one one and one two and um the lost levels excellent mid-air jump there from mitch turning around in the in the air and getting that shell active to go off it in the middle of the air that's really really, really good it is worth noting he did that for swag <laughs> it doesn't actually save time Worked on me. Yep. Oh, I'm totally kidding. Just wanted to show off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Nope, does not lose any time. And yeah, it's really important Jab for them to keep... Oh, Jabum didn't go for it. As you can tell, with all these piranha plants coming up, they want to be able to take them out so they can nice. jump on these pipes easier and make it through the stage quickly. Uh, I did. It will be submitted... Uh, today I'm gonna submit it when I'm done streaming. For that reason. Yeah, it can be really helpful when you're running through a stage with P speed to just be able to snipe things out of your way. <laughs> Gideon losing. Ga yeah, Gideon losing the fire flowers really bad there. That was probably one of his biggest. Ch that was probably his biggest mistake for any kind of comeback. Yeah. Ask you guys how you like its remix so far. Steve's gonna be coming up soon. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> go Steve! It's really the everything bagel of Mario games. It's got yeah all the stuff in it for you. What did you do in your PB Jabum? The uh... it's it's not overly difficult. It's just a really fun game. And we actually get to see vanilla SMB 1-5, except it's upside down. And so we get to see the upside down tunnel. Upside down MFP tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little easier to do it that way. PFM tunnel. Oh, the MFP World 6 boss. Nice, Jab. Uh, did you get the ghost house jump? I assume you got uh, fly skip first try. So now we get our first look at what we call the Roombas. Yeah, it's actually the cleanest stage in the game. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Mitch might make a really good sweep of it. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Just leave. I will go. <laughs> I will go. So he's got to jump on that Roomba and then kick it into the little squiggly electrified line there on the side in order to damage it. Get off of him. I was having trouble getting off it there. <laughs> we call that the DJ Roomba. Nice. Jabum, Jabum had a better 7-2 uh, better, uh, yeah, than Getty in there. Through seven two. Like I mentioned, he's got his fire flower, so he's able to do it. Taking it nice and slow. He doesn't want to lose that fire flower for this last section here. Even taking that extra second is better. Dies, it falls upwards, yeah. too. I have to go now. <laughs> so yeah, we get to see Mitch use gravity to his advantage there and um, make it up to that platform. Normally, you'd have to use a bind, and he just runs off that next platform to take out the little Qberts there. It's just like Qbert always says: 
Right, you're screwed. <laughs> oh my god, the Jabum leg. Or no, Gedeon got the leg. I think Jabum died in this level that Gedeon's in right now. <laughs> I mean, how do you follow that? <laughs> I, I have no idea. True, and, true and here we are. <laughs> there was Steve. Wee, wee, yo, Rain Man, five, four, one, nine. Thank you for the really sub, dude. Those hopping fires too. Those little, uh, little fire snakes that Mitchell's jumping over too. Oh yeah. So, so here we get to see the uh, first introduction of the boomerang suit in Mario Three Mix. Yeah, and I, I believe it was first introduced in 3D Land. So, um, drawing from that game, and it functions similarly in terms of Mario 3 to the hammer suit if you've seen it. Yo, Danger Tater with the Twitch Prime. What up, dude? Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Did you ever bring the boomerang suit back? <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> the collective groan. <laughs> and so it, it's actually going to be important for him to maintain this boomerang suit through some of these levels because we're going to see Roomba fights again and he's going to be able to use that to his advantage to make the fight much quicker. Um, and that section he just passed with the, the switching gravity is actually quite difficult to make it through. Oof. Scary, man. A little mechanic uh, fact about the gravity is that when you hold down your jump button, it'll uh, propel you even further in that direction. Jab him, no! I was looking at Jabin's screen. I was like, why is it lagging so much? Oh, instant kill on the, the Roomba there. And we see Gadian. He's about to pick up the boomerang suit as well. And they're, they're going to use this suit a lot because uh, it allows them to take out a lot of enemies and reduce a lot of lag. Because as I mentioned, that's part of the battle with this game is reducing some of the lag. Waterfalls, man. They're too hard. out of the first Roomba fight. I love the little kick Luigi gives it. Like, go on, Roomba, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> don't do this at home. Don't kick your Roombas at home. They're not evil. They do not want to hurt you. And Mitch makes it flawlessly through the waterfalls. So yeah, on Gadian's screen, we see that switching gravity section I talked about. It's quite difficult to make it through without taking damage. Um, but he'll be able to re-grab. Yeah, waterfalls can be really annoying. Um, a cool little mechanic, if he did take damage there, maybe the bullet bill launcher fired. Um, as long as that boomerang suit is spawned, it actually will upgrade you all the way to that. Who's in the lead right now, Jabba or Gideon? And so on Mitch's screen, we're actually getting to see the first look at 7-6 at a GDQ, although it's upside down, or at least the interior of 7-6. And then <laughs> this, of course, is 7-1. Nice. I really, really like how this game has this upside down. No, but this is SMB3 mix. The original game can be recontextualized to be really interesting when you play it upside down. And then this is actually upside down 5-2. Um, this was only Tuesday as well. That's a lot of money for Tuesday. So it's actually, in that level, it's really important to avoid a lot of the platforms. Make sure you fall as quickly as possible. You can save quite a bit of time doing so. I get to see the final Roomba fight here. Does Gideon die here? No, Jabum dies at this part. Good Roomba. <laughs> we see Gideon navigating his way through the waterfalls without falling in the pit. It's a little scary when you do that part. I've got I've got a nice lead here. I was pretty happy. The SMB3 World 7 Auto Scroller. Little did you know, apparently it was only about five feet off the ground. <laughs> I don't understand why you die when you fall off of it, but we know why. <laughs> oh, job him. That fort was really good, man. I love how you can just stand on the ground. <laughs> like you're not even on the ship at all. Nope. I'll get on when I'm ready. <laughs> like the ship got docked somewhere and they're like it's never it's never leaving and Jabba makes it out of the second room to fight there the instant kill 
Jab him. What? Like, do you think I would have world record if I didn't die in 8 1? I got a 106 low, didn't I? Nah, maybe if I didn't mess up the clip so much. Is there like a Mario move that? Yeah. Are you swinging your arms from side to side? Come on, it's time to go. Do the Mario. <gasps> All right. Jab him. And we get to see the last look of Bowser Jr. that we're going to see in the game here with the um, alternating gravity. Is this the moon? Yeah, yeah, we definitely have two moons and they're definitely adjacent to each other. Oh. That, that, that works, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're also yeah. red. Yeah. Here we get to see uh, our first look at Rosalina. Wee! Jab him with the slide. I'd comment on uh, Gideon's screen, but he's in an auto scroller, so. I didn't comment on myself in an auto scroller because auto scrollers suck. Is that all these levels are kind of just a rehash of what's already occurred in the game, so 8 1 as you should be able to predict is going to be SMB1 and we're going to see this first section is actually going to be a recreation of 8-1 from that game and then later I was killing 8-1 man I was killing it Your boomerang really gets a lot of time on screen when you throw it forward when you're running it stays in front of you for a really long time and as you scroll the screen it kind of moves with you and can really just take out tons of enemies in a row like that yeah, sometimes as well, it's a challenge to re-grab the boomerang. You, <laughs> you suck! Because it's just like, yeah. moving around the screen. <gasps> oh, oh, no! Finding the gap there. No. no <laughs> I said I didn't hit the checkpoint. What's wrong with me? In that level. So, his, no. so his boomerang isn't coming back then? No. 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 <laughs> Someone's just screaming. <laughs> the one boomerang that didn't come back. And Ge uh, Gideon died there too, which sucked. Yeah, we but. S we're now seeing why he really wants that upgrade here. Um, he's really struggling with the lag um, in the level. So Gideon has a chance to really pick up some time here in A1. Okay, hold on. Let's see what the time is. How much time I actually lost? 40, 56, 25? Hold on a sec here. It's a lot of you better do. He's I was 56, 25. Time on screen when you throw it forward when you're running. It stays in front of you for a really long time. And as you scroll the screen, it kind of moves with you and can really just take out tons of enemies in a row like that. Yeah, sometimes as well, it's a challenge to re-grab the boomerang because you want to... 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54. 54 seconds. It's more like 55 seconds. He's entering now. Oh, no. Gideon gets the death. Tiny hole. Gap's giving him a little trouble. And so, yeah, this is the section of the stage that's actually 8 3, including the end here. I wouldn't, well, I would have PB'd, but yeah, definitely. Hey, <laughs> Gideon Shrug, he's like, yeah, whatever. First try. <laughs> First try. Dude, I love Gideon's yeah, turn backs. We're going to see a rehash of what we've seen, and this is actually the inside of 7-2 in SMB2, and Mitch is actually going to attempt to do a little skip here that's pretty easy. You just click, clip in through that wall. It's a pretty free clip as long as you're able to duck and get above the pipe, and then he gets the glitch Mauser fight, so apparently he only gets half of his stage now. Phantom Mauser ain't done yet. Okay, he's done now. <laughs> Moonwalk, <Yeah>. very cool. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah, this <laughs> everyone uh, is actually vanilla SMB 62 with a spooky take on it. It's dark now and all of the Koopas are replaced with dry bones. That is pretty spooky. <laughs>
Very spooky. I can't watch. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, getting getting the clip as well. Nice work. And he gets the through cycle. Nice job. And the moonwalk. All right. All the swag today. And <laughs> Javim's like, I'm not there yet. Don't swag without me. <laughs> and now Javim's going to get his shot at 8-1, and he's still got his upgrades, so... He'll be able to use this Fire Flower to reduce quite a bit of lag in the stage. And Javim has a shot to make up a lot of time here. P speed management anyway. Even though yeah. he even though he took damage, he's maintaining his P speed and that really, really served him very well for that level. Yeah, he made it through the section of the stage that's really important to have fire anyway, so um, wasn't the biggest deal that he took damage there. And we get to see Yoshi for the last time on Mitch's screen, and we're gonna get to see a familiar friend. Bye, Although Yoshi. I guess Mitch. Oh hi Barry. <laughs> for the last time. Yeah, Mitch ain't take no chances of Barry. Nope. <laughs> Not getting Barry today. Love you, Barry. Very nice eight one from Jabba. <laughs> yeah, Jabba definitely should have taken damage there, but it's okay. It kind of it kind of worked out, didn't it? There, was able to get the clip. So on Gadian's screen, if he's able to maintain this Yoshi, he'll save a little bit of time going in the pipe, as well as we'll get to see an interesting interaction with the Lakitu in the next room. Be kind, Barry. Be kind. <laughs> Barry's never kind. Oh. 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 Yeah, one of the things uh, with the game is when you press up, you'll jump off Yoshi, unfortunately. Nope, fuck that clip. <laughs> so Mitch, having to get thrown Mitch, decline, up Mitch declining to take that clip. <laughs> so yeah, we get to see the auto-scroller section here. Uh, Jabum always gets that clip first try. For inspired portion again. Did you world record in practice or what? Yes, I did. Mitch's screen, we're going to get to see the last galaxy-inspired stage of the run. Um, so you're going to know which side of the Whee! pipe is on, on the stage because uh, it'll be longer than the other side. So you have to really pay attention to that. Um, as you can tell, the gravity switches here. I took this level very slow at the end. Automatically, or is there... <laughs> yeah, it automatically yeah. happens. Once I hit Bowser's Castle, like, we'll on my own, I was pretty confident that... So we get to see the glitch Yo Yoshi sprite. His feet. <laughs> yeah. And he gets ditched in Yoshi fashion. He's become a monster. Get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> we plan to anyways. <laughs> what have I created? <laughs> and 
So yeah, the beginning of Bowser's Castle here is actually um, an auto scroller. Uh, it's fairly lengthy. The stage itself is about four minutes long. Um, and there is, you know, in typical three mix fashion, another potential clip you could get. We see Gadian making it through the galaxy stage as well. So it's gonna be really important for, um, you know, neither runner to take a death in this stage. It deaths are very, very, very costly in an auto scroller. It does. It does. Thing. You're right, Jim. Absolutely. Any run. And uh, there are some a little dangerous parts of this, I guess. Like, there's a lot of enemies on the stage, and um, one of the important strategies of the stage is delagging it. And so we see Mitch killing the Lakitu in order to do that. Now there's a lack of lag. <laughs> you and no puns. <laughs> 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 Still love seeing you at AGDQ, even if I'm not on Twitch as much anymore. Less it's than okay. Three. What up, dude? What up? Boo that man. It's probably a good time for another donation. You got it. We have five dollars from Dan F. The Everything Bagel of Mario games. Top tier commentary. Take my money. <laughs> and so yeah, Mitch has now exited the auto scroller section of the game and. As I was talking about the <laughs> of the where, game, I love you it. You really have to figure out where you're going um, in order to complete them. And this is definitely one of them where you get thrown into this extra room, have to hit a switch, and then you go back in the same room and then have to run backwards. So um, there's a lot of routing that goes into this. And if you're playing this for the first time, it's probably going to be really confusing. But we'll, sh we'll show you how it's done. <laughs> And so yeah, the, that switch caused that pipe to spawn in this section right here. And so in this section, there's a, a little shell jump that Mitch is gonna attempt that's, it's, it's really easy, but it's kind of difficult to keep the shell because there's so many enemies in your way. Um, and he does a good job there. So he hits the switch and he gets the little jump. Nice little time save. Nice. Yeah, that's not the way you're supposed to go back. You're supposed to go up and around, but by bringing that shell, he can just get right over the wall. So now we'll get our look at Bowser for the last time in 3Mix. Hey, it's him. I know that guy. So yeah, time is coming up for Mitch um, once he completes this fight and the screen fades to the credits. This is a little bit different than the regular Mario 3 Bowser. He's 3 three hits to take him out. Yep. Yeah, the time is coming up for Mitch. I always find it weird, like, the other player, like, everyone else is still playing right now, and, like, the cheer, and it's like... <laughs> nice work, Mitch. Have you played Mario before? <laughs> <laughs> couple, just a couple. One oh six seventeen. So yeah, the reason they don't use the boomerang suit on Bowser is he actually doesn't have a hit. It's because it doesn't work. The boomerang suit doesn't yeah, work on Bowser. It should, but it doesn't. Time coming up on Gadian. Look at Jabum. He gets it all to himself. You got a cheer and everything. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if you died during the cheer? That would be embarrassing.
Why not call time when Bowser hits the last, the, the lava? Uh, cause you're still in control of Mario. Or the, the player. Jeff, I'm also going for the shell jump strat here. He actually purposely takes damage there because he's worried about hitting that guy with the shell. <laughs> oh. Well, he didn't just show you the rest of the level. Intentional. Yeah, this is what we skipped, yeah. Pipe? Go Javin, let's go, man. Yeah, see, I don't know if this is longer or shorter because he makes Bowser jump further, but I don't, I don't think it matters. You think Bowser would just stop building his fortresses with like bricks that he can smash through and fall in lava? Like, man, my floor is really unstable. I should call a contractor or something. I kind of appreciate the lava on the ceiling. I should stop filling my home with lava. It's just... <laughs> Michael Buble of Gaming. Great runs. Great runs. Time. Nice job. <laughs> Javim, I love Javim so much. That was a good race. That was a fantastic race. You want to submit rematches, don't you, Jabin? All right, so this has been SMB3 Mix. Go play it. <laughs>